because the only whole, uh, whole uh, so only whole number is our the you know the number of the x and the y speed so that's why a few places cannot be the go uh, particle uh, yeah the, that's what I wanted to say so it is not like completely randomness and uh, that's what will uh, fix uh, right now okay so the only thing we need to change is to uh, the make the x and the y well to a float so rand so this will generate minus 5 and plus 5 but actually I wanted to add a float number to it so plus and I generate a float because just if it is float then it will be actually float as it will be casted to an int and yeah don't go into that so just generate a random numbers random numbers and basically if you don't add the percent sign uh, and the number so some uh, number then it will generate the random number between 0 and rand max rand max is a constant constant so it could uh, depend on the system so I just cast it to a uh, float and uh, divide it with it if I divide it, it if I divide with it it will generate a float number because uh, uh, obviously uh, division always generate a float number uh, that's all uh, I don't know do you is it clear so this is the maximum number which can gener generate the random numbers generator this is what uh, numbers does it generate so basically because we uh, divide a bigger number with a with so we divide a small number with a bigger number it will generate a random number between 0 and 1 uh, include the 0 and the 1 as well so I just copy it to the y speed, uh, which is which is which is which is uh, here, and that's all. Okay, and uh, we need to add it right here. There we create a particle. In here, just create it when it is already destroyed. So these are the initial initial initialized particles. So I just uh, make it here and add it here okay so if I compile the program right now and uh, uh, fix the errors so oh what the problem is oh the plus sign is uh, we can we di we haven't copied the plus sign so plus and in here too okay we use the, the plus sign here good but we don't use the plus sign here okay now it should compile one last place so hmm oh I put the uh, plus sign to a uh, wrong place so I add the plus sign to here and now it's compiled and we can run it and as you can see it's much more randomness there are there is no point where then where particles cannot uh, be uh, basically okay I think you understand it uh, why does it happen so why is a float number is better than the integer number which is just a whole number okay so now you can easily just rewrite this number to make more particles so for example make 10,000 particles much imp uh, much better right so wow m how much particles does it uh, doesn't it look quite good I think so okay so there are a lot of particles in here and uh, then you just play with these numbers and uh, that's what can you do okay so if you increase the resolution and make it full screen it is good for example for a screen saver or something okay so I want to show you how you can make it uh, random colors so I just delete this and I generate a random number rand uh, within 0 and 
255 I guess okay and uh, that will because we use 8 bit per pixel it means we have 256 color at max uh, included the zero so 255 is the white color in theory so we can try it so I just generate a random color for every particle now if I run the program as you can see now when the television is not working it, it gives some similar result as you can see every particle has a slightly different color cool right okay so now if you want you can make the life of the particles a little bit bigger by changing uh, if you change the first number it will cause that every particle increase the life and if you change the second it means that uh, so one po uh, so very r so the outer part of the screen there will be very rare uh, particles so I just increase it to 2000 so we can test that is it out outside of the screen that is it work or not okay as you can see it's I think a much cooler effect I could watch it uh, yeah okay and if it is goes outside of the screen it seems that it is deleted automatically so I don't think there is a problem in here you can test how much your computer can how much particle your computer can handle by changing the particle numbers and uh, do I want it to do other things okay basically if you want I don't know a wind or some particle goes up then you just change the number which I divided for example if I want my particle uh, to go to uh, left then I will uh, then I wouldn't uh, uh, subtract 5 from it so now if I compile all of my particle will go to the left uh, or the right uh, not really matter right I wanted to say as you can see there is no particle on the left and every particle goes to the right so if you do it well it's like a wind effect obviously uh, yeah you can add numbers and you make this effect a little bit stronger so if I not subtract the number but add uh, 5 to it so add 5 then if I compile the program and run it it will give a much quicker uh, wind effect as you can see like a big wind you can do the same thing with uh, go up go left go down so so on and you can move it like a racket it could be a racket if you make the color the good and uh, Mm, I think I covered everything although the particle engines are used not just in 2d programming but even 3d programming even 3d programming uh, much more uh, the effects like blow up something so for example uh, you could rewrite a little bit our earlier uh, program which is obviously the side scroller game so whenever we jump to the head of one enemy then you just uh, put a, a particle engine there for a short amount of time and that would give the result that the enemy blew up or I don't know something like similar alright and uh, uh, you can use it for smoke fire and uh, even for water I don't know how much the would it be for water but maybe okay and so you can use it things like a lot of uh, little things mm. okay I like the first effect so then we uh, subtract the five and we just decrease the number of particles to five thousand compile run okay I liked that this effect more oh uh, all right so uh, I used I said the basic uh, so basically how you do that uh, and uh, 
Hmm. So this is what you have learned in here, just the edge. But if you understand this, you can make more uh, advanced things with particles. Like as I said, the fire. Okay, uh, that's all uh, for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a great day.